What is up guys? My name is Adrian. I am a third year biomedical student here at the University of Western Australia. If you've ever wondered what UWA looks like, whether you're an international student like me or you're a local or whatever, well, you've come to the right video. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count stacks. Knew that ass was real when I hit it, bounce back. All right, first things first, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful buildings here at UWA, Winthrop Hall. Black dust in orbit. Cascades down like a parachute. Cafe. Now, Hacker Cafe is a great place for students to just come and chill in between classes. We really get a mixture of students just studying or chilling. We also get a lot of like working adults that come here for meetings. So, really great place to come chill, study. Um, it can get loud during the semester, but if you're one of those students that kind of needs white noise in the background, then Hacker Cafe is a great place to be at. Um, also, a great coffee. So, yeah, I highly recommend. Catch you guys in the next location. <laughs> If you are starting your next, if you are starting your new school year here at UWA, then you're probably gonna want to know where all the lecture halls are. So first things first, one of my favorite halls in my first year is Octagon Theater. So you're still thinking of me, just like I know you should. I cannot give you everything you know. I could. I'm so high at the moment. I'm so caught up in this. Yeah, we're just young, dumb, and broke. But we still got love to give while we're young, dumb. Young, young, dumb, and Alright guys, my friend Isaac just joined us on his tour. Um, he's also a UWA student studying biomedical science just like me. But we are currently in one of the first year lecture halls called Ross Lecture Theater. I had a lot of my first year math classes in this lecture hall as well as some of my human bio units. So if you're a first year student, you're most likely going to have at least some classes in here. Just an FYI, uni hasn't started for everyone, which is why campus is really empty right now. We were lucky enough to be able to come into one of these lecture halls, but just a heads up that I might not be able to bring you guys everywhere in depth. Alright guys, another really popular location here at UWA is definitely Reed Library. Now Reed Library is divided into three floors, each based off how loud people can be on each floor. I'll explain later once I'm inside, but before that, let me show you guys how it looks like from the outside. 120, come catch me, 40's inside of my belly, shouldn't be driving, I'm fighting, yeah. Rock that Nirvana on my family, damn I forgot what her name is, she in the front, she head banging, yeah. Yeah, money counter sounds on like a chopper, chopper. Speaker system bumping, fuck your fucking blocker. Do some mock him now, it's cost some barely mock her. Kill a drop, I cop from locker. If you buy it. Alright, guys, we are currently on the ground floor of Reed Library. As I said before, Reed Library is divided into three floors based off how loud people can be on each floor. People can be as loud as they want on the ground floor. They can discuss, they can. Um, talk about things, they can even sing. Even the structure of ground floor read allows for that kind of study. So we are currently on the first floor of read and only whispers are allowed here. 
The second floor of Reed Library is only allowed for postgrad students, so only the ground floor, the first floor, and the third floor is available for undergrad students, which is what I am. Now, I'm a really bad example, but the third floor of Reed Library is supposed to be complete silence, but obviously I'm breaking that rule. So just to recap, we started at Winthrop Hall, then made our way to Hackett Cafe, and then to the Octagon and Dolphin Theatre, then the Geology Building, Geography Building, Arts Building, Social Sciences Building, the Science Building, the Psychology Building, the Bailey's Building, Sports Science Building, Business School, Physics Building, Reed Library, and then our next location will be at the Sunken Garden, where we will then head to the Refractory, and then conclude at Matilda Bay. One of UWA's most popular landmarks is the Sunken Garden. A lot of couples come here to have their wedding photographs taken here, which just speaks about how beautiful it is. This is actually my first time coming here, and all I can say is that it's absolutely stunning. popular place here on campus at UWA is the Rev right behind me. The Rev offers a variety of foods. There's like Subway, there's um, a bunch of Asian places like Japanese stuff, Chinese food. Uh, there's bubble tea stalls there. A lot of students come here and chill, study, have meetings. I know during the school year there are a lot of events that take place on the lawn that I'm looking at right now which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but yeah, let me, let me show you guys how it looks like right now. The Rev is closed right now, so I can't actually show you guys the inside. I'm gonna try my best to give you guys the sneak peeks. Okay, never mind. That was a horrible idea. You can't see anything, but let me show you this lawn where events usually take place and students just kind of... Don't you tell me that it wasn't meant to be Call it quits, call it destiny just because it won't Oh, by the way guys, Trisha is also a student here at UWA. What are you studying in? Accounting and Finance. Accounting and Finance. What year are you in? I'm in my fourth year. She's in her fourth year? Yeah, no. Also, one of my favorite things about the Ref is how close it is to Matilda Bay. So when university is in session and the shops are actually open, it's so easy to literally just get a boost and sit by Matilda Bay and chill. So that's a really nice thing about the Ref being in uni here. One of my all-time favorite things about UWA is how close it is to the river, which honestly makes it really easy for me to come down and just chill here in between classes. Obviously, uni isn't in session right now, but it definitely is a common thing when uni um, starts. I'm here with my friend Kyra. Um, we're just getting some reading done, and then I think that will conclude this tour. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped. Um, you guys kind of get a better picture of what UWA looks like. Um, definitely leave a comment if you want to know more about UWA. I'll definitely reply to it. And do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and definitely subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.